It's quite a logistical challenge, providing a meal for 1,400 school children every day, and this without the help of modern kitchen appliances, electricity, or gas. All cooking done over open fires. Parents come to light the fires at 6 a.m. The World Food Program provides the food, the locals the firewood, but most importantly, their labor. Every morning, 210 kilograms maize flour, 56 kilograms beans, and 14 liters of cooking oil are weighed out. Not a recipe, but the daily ration for the Kumva school, recorded by a teacher. The menu never changes, and there is no meat. All meals at the Kumva canteen are vegetarian. Men stir the maize porridge in huge pots over the fire. Most of the parents in Burundi are peasant farmers, but there still isn't enough to eat. And how can children learn when they are hungry? Every day I go to school on an empty stomach, says 10-year-old Estella. But at noon, I get something to eat there, and that makes learning easy. Despite being an agricultural land, Burundi is the most hunger-ridden country in the world. Years of civil war have only made matters worse. In Kurundo province alone, nearly 70% of the population suffers from chronic malnutrition. In the school garden, parents are cultivating vegetables with the support of Wildhungerhilfe. Daily cooking at the school is community work, from cleaning and cutting vegetables to sorting and washing beans. Women pick tiny stones from the beans by hand. The hard labor falls to the men. They carry the heavy pots and stir the thick maize porridge. Every day, about 12 adults prepare food for the pupils, voluntarily, without pay. We don't mind this work at all, says 28-year-old Leonsi. We enjoy it because we are working for our children, for their future. That is our reward. It's almost noon. Time is running short. Since there are not enough tables and benches, classes take turns eating. 1,400 children fed by 12 volunteers. On time, every single day. In the schoolyard, the first students are already lining up to wash. Hygiene is important, especially since most of them eat with their hands. Only a few bring spoons from home. I used to go home at noon for lunch, explains 13-year-old Samuel. But most of the time, there was nothing to eat. I didn't like returning hungry, so I'd skip school in the afternoon. Now, I learn all day, every day. The children who have finished eating may stand up. Everyone washes their own dishes. The parents collect the clean plates to fill them again for the next students, who are already streaming in to eat. And because this project is carried out at 125 schools in the province, right now, more than 100,000 children in Kurundo are being provided with food. Yet another logistical challenge. <laughs>